Hey, good afternoon. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. Doing an inspection, just wrapping up actually, on a 1979 two-door two Landau Chevrolet. It's a Caprice uh, Classic. Just getting ready to fire it up and uh, put it up on the rack, show you the underbody. It's an original 75,000 mile Survivor car. Um, showing some general wear and patina uh, throughout. The car has been repainted. Uh, has a few small uh, door dings and uh, you know a few little nicks here and there and a few little uh, waves present. Magnetic adhesion on the body was real nice. Just a few little surface things not worked out. Body door corners are real solid. Original tags are in place. Uh, when you roll up this window, this skin right here moves a little. So uh, it's got body sealer on it and it could stand to be redone. Vinyl top's in pretty nice shape. Got a small little cut right here on the opposite side I'll show you. Some of the interior is chalked out as you would imagine. That's what happens as they get aged. Interior otherwise is in pretty good uh, survival shape. Carpets are decent for original. Kick panels show a little bit of that same general wear. Turn signal wand is uh, broken. Turn signals do work. Dashboard is faded in color on the top. Cracked at the heat vents on uh, there and cracked at the front lip there. A little crack here. Uh, plastic chrome on the door panels is showing some peeling and wear and the armrests are chalking up a little as well. But as a driver, it is presentable. Those pedals look a bit like 70,000, 75,000 miles, which is what's showing. Clock doesn't work. Um, turn signals all work. We got one reverse light out. Headlights work, bright lights work. Headliner, that could stand a little love. It's an original piece, fell down like they all do. Radio works. Wipers have power to them. They're clicking on the firewall, but we can't get them to fire up. Uh, heater works, cables slide free. Air conditioning does not blow cold. A, horns, a horn works and windows go up and down. And there you have uh, the interior portion. The body, I'd say, is a good looking 10 foot driver. You know, as a car cruising down the road and just as a local driver, it looks decent. None of this chrome has been uh, cleaned up and shows some oxidation. Um, the bumpers, uh, there's a unique filler strip then used there off a Chevy truck, but it fills up the gap of the piece that's missing. You can see that there's some uh, minor scuffing and some patina, uh, consistent with an older driver quality car. The bumpers fit the body nice, both front and rear. Up front, the rubber strips missing on one of the guards. Now, body-wise, shooting down it, you can see just a little bit of subtle, you know, the reflective quality you can see is pretty nice. A little bit of filler work, uh, repair work done right there. Just subtle, you can see where the line kind of dips in a little in the quarter panel. And uh, a little bit of bump work was done right in there. But uh, the magnets otherwise stick nice to the car around the wheel wells. And like I said, the whole exterior was repainted. A few nibs in the paint, a few little nicks, chips, and scratches. We're doing this pre-purchase inspection for a potential out-of-state buyer. A few little uh, solvent pops right in there. Uh, who wanted to get a better look at the car without driving all the way up here to see it? If you need inspection service like this, 800-301-3886. Let's work the hoist and get the car up. And so we can get a little better look. A little bit of grass in there. I think somebody must have mowed the grass and shot it at the car. Hood ornament's not missing. Quick look underneath the hood. Um, core support looks like it was detailed and uh, painted. Uh, rest of the inner fenders. They're solid. It's a little 305. And um, just an unrestored engine bay. Hey, the hood light works. A compressor seal you can see is leaking on the air conditioner, stained the uh, hood insulator. But the lip of the hood is solid. 
uh, grills in good shape, just a little bit of general uh, plating uh, fade. And again, the bumper uh, strips, one's missing, one's cracked. The white line's gone here, and then we got a little bit of patina. Pleasant patina. Okay, quick look at the trunk before we close down. Lights working. Uh, this lock, this lock is sitting a little crooked, but uh, the key worked to it. Uh, the floor pan in the trunk is in nice shape. There's no mat currently present. There is a original style spare with correct colored striping, and the jack is present. Floor pan's in good solid shape. No evidence of any uh, rear collision damage from up top. As a side note, uh, the seat belts all appear to be buckling, latching, and working. Got some uh, trim cracking going on there. Didn't show you this little mark on the seat bolster from the driver's side, but all three front buckle, two in the rear buckle. I dug, I couldn't find the middle one, but I'm sure it's there, and I'm sure it works. Small cut right there, not too bad. Roof and top are otherwise in nice shape. A little bit of general uh, fade on the uh, trim plating. All the components appear to be here. Here's probably the worst uh, door dings on any of the trim, and it's right there in that wheel well. Let's go up. Uh, tires are 215.70s in the rear. 215.75s in the front. Uh, they're not brand matched uh, front to rear. They got a reasonable amount of tread left. These are some original style Landau caps. You can see they've got a little bit of general patina and uh, hitting. They could clean up nicer than what they currently are right now. Okay, well we got her up in the air. Let's start in the front end like I like. Uh, the front suspension appears to be all OEM original, all OEM bushings present. Um, frame rails, let's see if I can get some better light there for you. You can see those extensions are in good shape. No evidence of frontal collision or impact. No buckles ahead of the spring pockets. That looks good. Um, not much to report on the suspension, no rebuild noted, original brake lines, calipers, original ball joints. I don't see any rebuild on the tie rod ends, nothing recent, <clears throat> bit of grease build up. These uh, cooler lines to the tranny have not been cut or spliced. We got a bit of a power steering pump leak. Up there you can see, um, not much. Not much gathering on the ground since I've been here. Original springs and shocks, original proportioning valve, uh, fuel lines, brake lines, etc. All original. The structure of the car, I'm looking into the sunlight there, this open style frame on the Chevys, the structure of the car is really good. You don't see any crushing or bending going on as far as uh, the uh, open frame rail goes. You got a little bit of hoist where a hoist uh, dipped right there, but uh, no, no large issues. This is, uh, it's got a real solid underbody. Some of that dampness we see there is coming from the uh, seal on the rear of the transmission, more notably from the speedometer uh, cable seal. The pan itself is in good shape. Um, it doesn't look like this has been recently cleaned, wiped down, or power washed. And that being said, it doesn't appear to be leaking up here in front, which is good. Uh, back here at the rear main seal, a little bit of grease build up. Again, it doesn't look like it's been wiped down or prepped or cleaned prior to my arrival, um, which is cool. And the front uh, pan seal is in real good shape. I don't see where the, uh, let me see if I can get my camera on that for you. There we go. Front main pan seal looks nice. Original, but it doesn't appear to be leaking. And back here under the car where the uh, hoist is, uh, no no spillage really to be uh, seen. This cardboard is kind of back level with the transmission. Um, 
So heading back, this frame rail, same story. Really nothing else to talk about or report. I'll slide our um, I'll slide our catch pans back here in a minute and get to showing you the back of the vehicle. Cadillac converter and the crossover pipe, that's all original. Definitely older and original. Again, supporting low miles. Alright, quickly we'll move back along this uh, frame rail again. Boom, 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 right back into the rear suspension. A non-boxed lower control arms, original spiral shocks. A little bit of deterioration in the uh, rubber bushings back here. And uh, that tailpipe, it is L-shot. Uh, so we're going to have a little bit of uh, exhaust noise, no doubt. Rear suspension all original, rear drums original, rear spray. Okay, original, original, original. Have I repeated that enough? You get the picture. Wheel tubs are in nice shape. The sound deadener has not been freshened or replaced. So uh, and you can see the spot welds up along there, looking looking decent. Quick overview from a distance. Got a little bit of uh, grease buildup from some seal leakage on that tin bolt. Surface rust on the uh, brake drums and axle, but no, no uh, real heavy decay. Quarter panel drops look nice and solid. Pinch welds look nice and solid. Frame rails, boom, same thing. It's a solid uh, driver quality car, might have lived a little while on a dirt road uh, based on some of the dirt and mud that you witness. And that's the underbody, let's take it for a drive. Uh, while we're up on a hoist, there's a few little uh, dings. This molding is actually loose, needs to be re-affixed. Um, a few dings down here, but you really don't see those obviously unless you're up on a hoist, like I am. Reflective quality is decent. Good for a driver. Antifreeze was in good shape. There's my transmission fluid. There's my oil. Oil is a little bit dirty, but doesn't smell like fuel. And the transmission fluid did not smell heavily burned or anything. Didn't look like it was changed recently. Same with a few dings in the rocker moldings down here. Pinch welds are in really good uh, shape. No evidence of any major decay going on there. Also of note, I showed you that dent up top in that quarter that got worked out. So naturally I was looking down here for some possible collision damage and uh, I don't really see where anything else has been fixed or foddled with. All right, 83 deg 81 degrees, time for a cold start. Keys forward. Gen oil and fasten seat belt lights come on. And the lights go out as they should. A little bit of belt noise, a little bit of lifter chatter and or exhaust. Uh, manifold leak. Uh, but the engine doesn't appear to shake. All right, let's head down the road. We don't have a lot of gas. Uh, wipers, like I said, have power, but they're in op. Turn signal wand's broken, but I'm not going to use it. I want to break it any further. For some reason my screen has kind of a whiteout sensation and I'm not sure I'm not sure what's up with that. Wow. We're doing a ghost test drive. Can't show you the road, I apologize. Jason Phillips from Ottawa Braves finishing up a pre-purchase inspection. Just running this uh, Caprice classic two-door post car down the road checking it out for a client. If you need inspection service like this, preferably with a video that you can actually see the test drive, you can give us a call, 800-301-3886. And I'm just going to keep you focused on the speedometer for now, because I know we can see that. First to second shift's nice. And second to third, nice as well. Speedometer needle's uh, bouncing a little bit. 
might not be calibrated correctly. Feels like we're doing more like uh, oh, 45 or 50. Hands off the wheel. Oh, I can't show you that. I really apologize. Not sure what's happening. I'm going to hit the pause button and see if that'll go away. Car does uh, seem to brake nice and smooth. No issues there. Well, reverse functions as it should. Hard to tell how fast we're going, but it feels like about uh, 55, 60. A little bit of suspension travel, but the steering wheel's not bumping or bouncing in an unusual way. Seems that it'll make a uh, good driver. Uh, I don't know if any of the original belts and hoses have been changed. They, uh, they all look a little older, but they may have been changed a while back and then the car not driven for a long time. But uh, mechanically, engine and transmission seem to be uh, accelerating and shifting out as intended. Rear end doesn't appear to be making any noise. A little bit of uh, air conditioning compressor and or belt, you know, and or uh, lifter noise. Hard to discern under the hood, but uh, no knocking. And I didn't see any unusual smoke in the rear view mirror. Odometer is turning, so miles appear to be actual. Uh, back under the hood. Uh, hard to tell. Could have a little. But go ahead and shut the motor off. Um, not sure exactly if the belt noise or that's clutch fan noise. We got a little bit of an antifreeze leak that has to be addressed. And uh, the owner doesn't want that spilled on his uh, brand new. It's brand new pavement, by the way. But. Uh, so the car's been sitting a while, and no doubt there's going to be some service to contend with. These are all original uh, vacuum lines, colored striped uh, vacuum lines. I think these radiator hoses uh, may have been replaced uppers and a Gates hose. Engine's definitely running uh, cool, 150. I know you can't see that, but you got to trust me, that's uh, 151, 153, there we go. Okay, finishing up a uh, pre-purchase inspection. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, 1979. 1979 Caprice Classic. Two-door post car. And uh, there's over 150 still photos that can be viewed of the vehicle uh, for that potential uh, onlooker. Where you can't see the, uh, the exterior is kind of whited out right now. Okay, thanks for hanging. Have a great day.